Hey guys, it is Ruby, and today I'm going to be showing you guys two ways to make butter slime. And guys, these actually do work, so make sure you guys keep on watching this video. But before we start, I'm so sorry that I've not posted in a while. School, I've been just like, school, school, school. <laughs> Stressed out with school. But guys, it is summer. Yes, it is summer. So I'm going to be sh posting, I think like, yeah, maybe twice a week, but before but before <laughs> but at least once a week so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below and thumbs up this video so I know that you guys liked these slime videos and comment like different slimes you want me to test because I will do them or like different slimes you want me to make for you guys um, and see if they actually work so yeah comment those down below also and without further ado let's just get right on into this video Woo! So the first thing I'm doing is I'm pouring in some glue. This is just Elmer's white glue, four ounce. Then I'm putting a few pumps of lotion. It can be like any lotion you desire. I'm just putting like eight to nine pumps in. And then I'm putting in some lotion, not lotion, <laughs> hand soap, and I'm putting eight to nine pumps also in there. And this is just a lavender hand soap. It doesn't have to be foaming or anything like that. Just regular hand soap. Then you're going to want to mix that up. Now I'm putting in some shaving cream. You're going to want to have the same amount of shaving cream as you do if you have glue mixture. And you're going to want to mix that up. So just make sure it's mixed up very well. And then you're going to want to add your borax solution. You're going to want to put a tablespoon of borax in like a water bottle full of uh, hot water so it can dissolve. And there you have it. You're going to want to add a little borax in at a time. If your slime is a little stickier, that is good because for the next part, it is going to get a little harder because it is butter slime. So you can put your slime to the side for now, and you're going to want to take another bigger bowl, and you're going to want to put some cornstarch in there, and this part is going to be a little more messier, but that's okay. <laughs> Take your slime and you want to make sure it all gets absorbed together. So you're just gonna wanna like stick it in there and just make sure it all gets absorbed. And just play with it in there for a little. If your slime is a little stickier still, you can put some more borax solution in there. That is what I'm doing. If you want your slime to be a little more smoother, you can add some baby oil. Yeah, it's baby oil. So that is what I'm going to do in a second. <laughs> so I just found this baby oil, oil at Target. You can probably find it anywhere. And I'm just putting a little in. 
and then just mixing it together. The last thing we're doing is adding Play-Doh. I'm using Play-Doh. You can use any like clay. I know everybody uses Modern Magic, but I figured out that you can use Play-Doh in your slime, but it will make it a little more stickier, but all you need to do is add borax solution, and I used this red, and it turned out very pretty. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just mixing it all together. And as you can see, I'm, I'm just adding a little more at a time. And it's getting a little more stickier. <laughs> and all you have to do is add more black solution though. So as you can see, this is the final product. I think this turned out super good. It's not sticky anymore. I added more borax solution. And I'm just spreading it for you guys. And it just turned out super well. It did turn out pink instead of red, but that's okay. <laughs> and it spread so good. I really recommend this because it's super easy. So yeah, here is some poking and spreading. This is our second butter slime, so there's two different ways. So you're just going to want to start off with some white Elmer's glue. I'm using a 4 ounce container bottle. <laughs> and then I'm adding the same amount as glue as shaving cream. A little more. <laughs> I put a little bit too much in. And then you're just going to want to mix that up very well. I'm adding a little more glue because, like I said in the beginning, I put a little too much shaving cream in, so I'm just taking my gallon of glue and pouring a little more in, and then mixing it up. So now I'm taking some eye contact solution. I just got mine at Target. It's the Market brand. And I'm just squirting a little in at a time. And I know what you guys are thinking. Ruby, are you making fluffy slime? And no, we are not because we're going to add another ingredient. Just keep adding a little more eye contact solution at a time and keep mixing it up and it will form together. Just like the other butter slime we made, you're going to want to take a bowl of cornstarch and put your slime in it and just keep kneading it together. So just like the other one, you're going to want to add Play-Doh to it. I'm adding a blue. And you can add um, any clay you would like. I know there's some at the dollar store in Target, at Target that I've seen some people use, and that works totally good too. But I'm just using Play-Doh again. And you're just going to want to knead that together a little. And this one won't get as more as sticky as the other one. So now for the end, after you knead it all together, 
You can put your slime into more cornstarch to make it more stiff. So it's like more like butter slime. And I really recommend to do this. And just knead it all together. So I hope you guys liked that video. Like I said, make sure you guys comment down below more slime videos or like slimes you want me to make. And I will for sure do them. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below also. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!